Yep. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for joining us for today uh, on the ANSYS AIM Release 17 update seminar. Uh, my name is James Latham, and I'm pleased to be joined by my colleague Chris Bennett, who is involved in both FEA and CFD analysis, uh, while as a member of our technical team. Uh, so over the next 20 minutes or so, uh, we'll be providing an overview of the ANSYS AIM Integrated Multi-Physics Simulation Solution. Um, and then we'll outline the new developments in the latest release, R17. Um, after the presentation, we will have a, a Q&A session. So if you want to post questions, you simply type within the questions panel on the GoToMeeting, and I'll pick up those at the end. Okay, so for those of you that don't know um, us here at WILD, we've been an ANSYS uh, software partner for over 16 years. Um, and we do work very closely with uh, our clients on ANSYS software, training and consultation services. And what we're finding more and more is, particularly in the, the training area, we focus very much on um, more customized or specific courses for those customers looking to solve um, quite uh, specific problems. We've got a, a wide and experienced technical support team. Um, so now I'd like to pass you over to Chris, who will carry on with the rest of the webinar. Good afternoon. We'll start off with just a few slides to, to um, outline what AIM is and what it offers um, before going on to, to the updates. Um, because it's a very new product and, and some of you may not be aware of what it is and what it's, what it's there for, really. Uh, the, the key thing about AIM is it's it's a, a way of trying to bring multi-physics modeling to the matters. Uh, it's uh, an entry-level software, but it's a very sophisticated piece of software as well. It offers quite a wide range of physics, and um, it offers uh, all your sort of main tools that you need for carrying out simulation. It offers access to all these tools through a single window, same window. And it's built on the many, many years of the ANSYS experience. Included is uh, integrated geometry creation and preparation, uh, quite sophisticated automated meshing for multi-physics, so it's meshing uh, both the fluids and structures. Uh, and of course, there's the multi-physics angle. Within the same package, you're doing fluid flow, stress analysis, heat transfer, and electrical conduction. And uh, one of the, the special the unique selling points is the, the coupling, the ability to couple between uh, multiple kinds of physics. Uh, AIM is based on Workbench technology, um, and it's integrated with uh, Design Explorer and the Space Plane. Um, but it's, it's, it's built very much um, to be easy to pick up and to, to use, uh, and for that reason it has a particularly short learning curve, um, which also means it's sort of ideal for a very occasional use. Um, and the interface focuses very much on a, a, a guided workflow. A key data and interaction can be through the, the GUI or through forms, which basically means you can uh, enter information on boundary conditions just by clicking on uh, the appropriate part in the, in the uh, user interface or by name selection through, through forms. There is uh, a reasonable amount of additional uh, functionality of the extra bells and whistles which we're used to in the more sophisticated pieces of software. Uh, well, the, 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 the higher range software like CFX, Fluence, and Mechanical. But mostly these are, are hidden behind filters. So they're, they're there if you need them, but they're not going to be there to, to, to scare off the occasional user. The user interface itself, just as an quick introduction to that. Um, a key uh, feature of, of AIM is the, the templates, the, the process templates which it uses to um, uh, set up the uh, flow, the problem flow. And on the left hand side, um, under the, the window mark study, as is highlighted, you've got some typical templates that, that come with the software. So you've got individual structural, fluid flow, thermal, electrical conduction, and then some combined ones. The, the, this particular case here is, a, is one of the um, uh, standard uh, uh, 
AIM tutorials, and it's of a fluid structure interaction problem with a yeah, small uh, variable sensor inside a pipe. And this is a fluid structure interaction, and you can see when you click on one of the templates buttons, what happens is you get the, the workflow up here, as is shown in the bottom of the screen. Now, on the left-hand side, on the first, the first item is geometry, which is just basically deals with the geometry import. Then there are two separate tracks. The top track covers the fluid, uh, fluid dynamic simulation. Uh, the first option is configuration, which basically just means that you're selecting the parts of the geometry which are solely concerned with the fluid flow. Then there's a meshing phase, uh, a flow simulation phase, and the results. At the bottom line, there is a, a configuration phase again, um, meshing phase for the structural side, the structural simulation, and the combined results at the end of that. And setting up a fluid structure interaction, structure interaction problem is literally as simple as this. It's just clicking one button, then you've got the, uh, the flow path there, and you can work through the flow path. Everything's very much highlighted, what needs to be updated and what isn't, um, where there's any problems. So it's, 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 a, it's a very easy to use piece of software. Updates for version 17. There's a number of uh, uh, generic updates, uh, including the list of the integrated geometry modeling. Uh, previous versions, um, space plane was available, but not directly through the, the same user interface. Um, and the same design explorer. Now, design and integrated design points have all come into the main interface. Uh, there's rendering technology, which we'll cover a little bit later, uh, enhanced solution monitoring, and uh, enhanced emphasis on wizards, templates, and the use of ACT, which is the uh, customization toolkit uh, that this is promoting to, to help further development. On the structural side, the, some of the new things coming in include. Uh, strain like fatigue modeling, uh, remote loads, shell elements, and for CFD, there's a, there's a better interface generator, which we'll talk about briefly in a couple of slides now. Uh, better initial condition specification, and a new far field boundary condition. On the integrated geometry modeling, um, this is using a space plane. It is now, as I said before, directly accessible within the, uh, the AIM study page, which is the main page. Uh, the templates uh, to deal with geometry have been updated to reflect this new port and geometry editing options. As soon as you're actually into geometry editing, then you're into the standard sort of space lane window, but it is contained within the, the AIM window. This will allow faster geometry updates. It will also allow um, uh, easier prioritization of any sort of geometrical geometry features that you would choose some more. Integrated design points, this is much the same um, uh, story here um, with uh, design optimization, the, the design explorer tools accessible within the same interface. Certainly, uh, optimization studies is a, something that's particularly easy to do within, within the AIM uh, system. The rendering and enhanced display. Um, any solid bodies can be rendered, which makes for better graphics, basically. Um, this can be done at any sort of stage in, in, in the process. Um, so it's a useful way to marking parts of the geometry which are being modeled and also just to help help you visualize what's going on. Enhanced solution monitoring. Uh, the previous version of space plane of, of AIM had a very much a, a prescribed set of um, uh, convergence criteria of, of the, the, the solution graphs it was actually outputting. Now it's much more free and you can add in extra um, features, um, extra properties that you, you, that you may want to, to, to model, including calculated properties. Wizards and templates. Um, AIM project widgets designed to uh, automate the AIM simulation, um, so we will further enable the, the 
aim to be used by wider pool of people, allow non-experts to set up the standard case. So you have an expert coming in, sets up the problem, sets up the problem flow, uh, potentially setting up the wizard to do so, and then it makes it easy for anybody in the system to actually be able to, to carry out the, the simulations. And it is also possible to, to generate user-defined process templates like the templates which were shown in the previous slide. In fact, you can actually take the, the, the existing templates and modify them as well if you so choose. There's also capabilities to um, um, use uh, sort of functional language a little bit like CEL in, in CFX to, to specify individual functions and boundary conditions. For structural modeling, um, a new feature is the strain life fatigue. Uh, as a guided template for fatigue analysis, uh, including fully reverse zero prescribed ratio and scale factor loading. The results include fatigue life, damage, safety factor, biaxiality indication, and equivalent of alternating stress. And in the picture shown, there's the uh, uh, this is just a life cycle versus stress loading on an individual strain in the back. Also, with structural, we're now able to apply remote loads. Um, this can be applied on, a, on uh, any topology, any part of the geometry or an individual point. Within the CFD, one of the uh, very useful new changes um, is an automatic region interface generation for conjugate heat transfer. Uh, the previous version, there were some very good interface generators for things like fluid structure interaction and, and within structural model but not within uh, C uh, CFD and the conjugate heat transfer and specifying um, multiple faces by hand, such as I in faces, is, is never something that's easy to do and, and now it's automated and the tool is very effective. CFD, uh, there's a better specification for initial conditions. Um, including an automatic specification so it's using the boundary conditions to, to, to specify initial conditions in a simplistic way, a little bit like Fluent does. Um, you've also got the ability to set up far fewer boundaries specifically for um, compressible flow simulations using ideal gas law. At this point it's also worth mentioning uh, ACT. AIMS very much being designed with uh, the point of view of making it easy to script, easy to, to, to uh, configure for different uh, options. And the main route for doing this is through uh, ACT, the Application Customization Toolkit. Um, this is also designed for helping um, out, well, designing specific flow, um, templates and workflows for Workbench um, and for integrating third-party software and it's based on, on Python scripting. Uh, there is an uh, application store uh, available for within the, uh, currently available for within the customer portal on the ANSYS website, which offers a range of uh, free and paid uh, app applications. Right, in summary, uh, AIM is designed for, really for design engineers and infrequent users. It's, it is an entry-level piece of software, even though it's a very sophisticated tool. Um, it's also potentially designed for expert users looking to create simple multi physics problems and also to set up the kinds of templates that uh, um, non-specialists might be able to use in order to, to carry out simple simulations. It's available on a standalone license. It is also bundled with mechanical and CFD license. Um, version 17 does show major steps forward in usability and functionality. Uh, it's a very much complementary tool to the existing applications. It's not, it's not going to uh, replace mechanical or, or the CFD tools, but it's this long cycle. It's growing up fast. And um, if you want to find out more, I mean, one of the best ways to do so would be to contact us for uh, an evaluation like this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris. Um, so, I just wanted to bring your attention to some forthcoming training courses that we have. Um, 
We don't have anything specific for AIM coming up in the next few weeks. Um, but as I said earlier, we're doing a lot more courses where we're interacting with the clients to look at more customised and bespoke. So any specific requirements you have or interest you have, please do get in touch with us. And there is a full list of training courses on our website, so you can uh, look much further into the future to see uh, <clears throat> what's available for you when you have time. So now I'll just go on to a few questions that have come in. Just bear with me. Okay, so the first question that's came in was is based on the user interface and the sort of simulation process and the workflow templates, which is what can you do to develop your own to suit your requirements? Well, as we said earlier, you can actually take um, uh, you can see the architecture of the existing templates, you can take those and adapt those, you can you can actually write your own templates as well. It is designed from the point of view of trying to make that process as easy as possible. Okay, and we've got another one which is uh, is AIM a separate product or is it just it just seems to be part of the ANSYS workbench interface? It, it is a separate product. Um, it has been built on workbench technology. It is available as part of the ANSYS mechanical and CFE bundle. So if you see it in, in if you have that already, you'll see it as a separate um, piece of software within the ANSYS menu. Excellent. Well, that, that's all the, the questions that we've had in at the moment. So um, I just want to say thank you very much for your time this afternoon. And um, hopefully we will see you on future webinars that we are going to run. So thank you very much.